Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide, where in this video we're going to be taking a look at the LS Tuners DLC, how to get started, what new features are available, and is it good? Well to begin, surprisingly, um, at least from what I saw upon logging in, all was quiet. No one gives you a ring on the phone, there's no cringy character like English Dave who has a dilemma that they're in, and it's all up to you to figure out what the new DLC is all about. Thankfully, all is rather simple to get a hold of. Simply follow this icon on the map to get started, but um, not before I go on a huge shopping spree. Oh yeah! I'm gonna have a car here, I'm gonna have a car there, I'm gonna have a car here. Ooh, I particularly like this one. Ooh, I'm gonna have a car here. Yeah, I got all the cars! Eh, but I guess I'll have to test them out later. Except for the Futo GTX, hell yeah! I of course had to get that thing modded up and looking like Initial V! Customization of the cars can be done in any normal LS custom. However, there is a new feature added to the game in the form of low grip tyres, which I'll get back to you later on. There is another new feature in the form of stancing. It basically loads your car even further than your current ride height, making it so that your car is pretty much scraping the floor as it rides on the road. You will find it in the interaction menu. I could possibly see some exploitation with curb boosting for anyone who knows what that is. It'll have to be something that gets tested out in due time, but right now, test it out in my car. The ride is rather bumpy. Anyways, after having a fiddle with my new ride, I went to the marked icon on the map which brings you here, to this magically large parking lot somewhere underground that we've never heard of before. It now just exists. Anyways, you meet a bunch of characters and boom boom bam, you're told to buy your very own mod shop. I bought the one of the highest specs, so here's the price. But before I set off to the mod shop, I decided to have a little look around the area, but uh... My, my god, god does this place, place lag! Lag. lag! It's not quite as horrible as Keo Perico Island, but goddamn, Rockstar, we friggin' optimize your goddamn game! Anyways, there's a few things that you can do around here, like modify your car, and it's here specifically where low grip tyres can be equipped to your car. This is the only place that will fit low grip tyres, oddly, so I decided to put some on and test out the level of grip that they give you in the world's, world's largest, largest parking, parking lot. lot. Jesus, this parking lot is massive! You could probably park half of the city's population in here. Anyways, low grip tyres do what they say on the packet. They make Make your car act as if it's equipped with tyres that you bought from Toys R Us, and it slides really, really easily, so you can more easily Once you're done sliding around, there's a few other things like the prize car, which you check how you can acquire by looking in the interaction menu. In my case, it's win three races, so it's probably best to do something like this before all the goddamn hackers make their way back to the game. There's a tattoo parlor here, there's a clothes shop, as well as a large array of cars that you can get some modding inspiration from. Anyways, moving on to the mod shop, you enter the place, on foot, and talk to these two lovely peeps. We should make ourselves at home, baby. <laughs> Come here, girl. You need to take all this shit off. You a bad motherfucker. Nah, you a bad motherfucker. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Bring that ass over there. <laughs> shit, got me all sick. <laughs> you motherfuckers been there the whole time? Oh, shit, you here. We'll finish this a little later, baby. They tell you that you have to complete a mission which involves stealing their car back from the police. I gotta admit, it was pretty challenging, but I managed to do it without dying, so that's a win for me. I get the car back, and now you can take part in what I can tell appear to look like a series of heist missions. I'll have to give those a try once I'm done making this video. The rest of the auto shop, besides the heist whiteboard, really isn't anything remarkable. <laughs> It 
It has 10 spaces for vehicle storage, which is always cool. There's a bed, a clothes dresser, weapon storage, CCTV, and, and rails, rails that you, that you can, can lean, lean on. on! Oh yeah! I think it's supposed to also slowly generate cash for you, sort of like the arcade does, but I haven't had the game on for long enough to tell you, so this is where people in the comments will probably clarify what the situation is there. And that's it. A bunch of nice cars, another series of heists, a cool place to hang out with car nutters such as yourself, which is pretty nice. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.